The gaslighting ain't gonna fly here, sir. Knock it off, because I know you're not stupid. <laughs> Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. My name is Dumi Bilia. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back. So first of all, I want to give a little disclaimer. This video is strictly for educational purposes. Please do not search out the people that I talk about in this video. Do not send them any kind of hate, any threats, any violence, any hate comment. This channel does not support that. We just want to have a conversation. This video is strictly for educational purposes. So today's video is about a Ken. I think this is going to be my first Ken on this channel. I've done some episodes featuring some Beckys and some Karens and we're going to have our first Ken. That's what we we'll call them, right? Well, you see this particular guy has said so many things on TikTok that he eventually got tagged a ray to the cyst and like the list just goes on and on. So the first video of him that I'm going to play was a video he made basically branding whoopi goldberg a ray to the cyst for making a comment about the tyree nicole situation let me roll that clip now well guys you knew it was going to happen after the tragic death and of tyree nichols this is what the view had to say how many times do we have to, do we need to see why you will also get beat before anybody will do anything i'm not suggesting that so don't write us and tell me what a you know what a racist i am so people can't say how much of a racist you are after you just said white people need to be beaten in order to prove a point and get a message across you guys i've made video upon video here um talking about why everything has to be about race these days and i feel like i'm banging my head against the wall because I don't, I don't know what else to do in order to change this culture. The second you use race as a basis of your argument, you lose all credibility with me. And Whoopi, what you just said is the lowest of the low. And you should be ashamed of yourself. To the family of Tyree Nichols, my heart truly goes out to you. He was brutally murdered. There's no question about it. And I just hope he's in heaven and paradise. So you guys can see. And first, I have to point out that this guy spent a lot of time watching The View. Okay, because all the things he said were basically him responding to things that were said on The View. And I don't know if he's always responding to The View because I think mostly it's a show that features mostly women of color. Maybe that's why. So he's, al he's always there like fishing for something to kind of like come online and talk about and give his opinions on what they say, which his opinions are always about you know talking about black people saying things that obviously are against black people so that's our first clip he actually got called out for making that video because he was obviously trying to twist what what whoopi goldberg said so i went through his page and i saw two other problematic videos also directed at black people and also in response to things that were said on the view there was this particular video of him talking about how the african-american studies have been banned in florida let me just play this one right now it's racism that's right and i think we have to Okay, so this was a guest on the view today. Her name's Rachel Lindsay. I know you've never heard of her, but uh, boy, she was a doozy. Um, so for those of you that don't know, Ron DeSantis, they were freaking out because he has banned or taken away African-American AP history classes in Florida. And they're saying that's racist. What I would venture to say is it's racist to have those classes in the first place. Because when you're setting apart any race from any other race, to me, that's what racism is. Is there an AP white American history class? I, I bet you there's not. Is there an AP Asian American history class, an AP Latino American history class? I would bet you there's not. So why is there an AP African American history class? It's all just history. This needs to be taught in our history classes along with every other culture. <laughs> So this is the third video of him that I'm going to play. People are real comfortable lately with diversity. They're real comfortable with inclusion. But when you ask them about giving us some reparations because this country was built on the backs of black people for free, no one wants to talk about that. And that was really a big part of his um, dream. Actually, a big part of his dream, Sonny, was by judging people based on the content of their character rather than the color of their skin. And by engaging a reparations type of program in the United States, 
you are quite literally doing the opposite and you are judging people based on the color of their skin rather than the content of their character. Reparations never really made sense to me and think of this example. A white baby and a black baby could be born today and you're telling me that the white baby instantly owes the black baby money based just on the color of their skin, something that they can't control. How is that supposed to make up for the trials and tribulations of slaves years ago? It doesn't. Sonny, your message of reparations is just gonna cause more division in the country. Am I the only person who sees a pattern here? Am I the only person who sees an agenda here? Am I the only person who sees that this guy stands for something and it's obviously not black people? So ahead of Joe Biden State of the Union address tonight, Whoopi Goldberg on The View said what she wants to hear him say. Take a look. What I need from him desperately is I need for him to say to all those brown kids who Adults keep saying your history isn't important. Yeah. I'm your president. I'm telling you it is. You've got to be absolutely kidding me right now. Of all the issues going on in our country right now, high inflation, high crime, high immigration rates, we basically don't have a border. We just had a Chinese spy balloon fly across our country with no repercussions. And your biggest issue that you need to hear from Joe Biden tonight is that brown people know that their history is still being taught, which, by the way, it is. Mm. Now, what be some answers that might actually help the brown people you're talking about and every other American in this country is why have the price of my eggs tripled? Why is it that illegal immigrants are coming across this country and I have to pay for it? Why are my friends getting sh in the streets and police departments are being defunded? MSNBC, what a joke of a news network. Take a look at what they just broadcasted on their airwaves regarding the death of Tyree Nichols. It's the Republicans in Congress who have stood in the way of passing legislation that would make a difference and prevent more tragic cases like this one. It's not the Republicans in Congress that killed Tyree Nichols. It's the five sadistic police officers who beat him senselessly to death. I will never understand why the left thinks it's okay to capitalize on these people's deaths for political gain. I just wanted to show you guys all that foolishness, all the things this guy had to say. And then I'm going to be playing the responses from people because believe me, he has been dragged. Y'all, as one of my mutuals would say, buckle up. Well guys, you knew it was gonna happen. After the tragic death and murder of Tyree Nichols, this is what The View had to say. Before we get to that clip, I would suggest that you get the name of Tyree Nichols out of your mouth. One, because you are using it as a prop so that you can now attack a black woman. Two, you as a Republican voted in Congress members who literally voted no to police reform in this country. So the incident that happened to Tyree Nichols literally happened because Republicans like you decided that police reform isn't necessary in this country. Black people also get beat before anybody will do anything. I'm not suggesting that. So don't write us and tell me what a, you know, what a racist I am. So people can't say how much of a racist you are after you just said white people need to be beaten in order to prove a point and get a message across. Guys, I, <laughs> I love that comprehension skills have literally gone out the window so that you can get likes and clout on a video. She even clarified and said, that's not what I'm suggesting. She didn't say white people need to have this happen. She's asking... How are we going to start humanizing black people in this country? Because we are constantly watching videos of black people being beat by the police. And she's asking, is it going to take white people seeing the same things happen to themselves that happens to the black community? Nowhere in there did she say it needs to happen. You're just putting it on so that you can make a racist remark on the internet. The second you use race as a basis of your argument, you lose all credibility with me. Of course, anytime somebody brings race into a conversation, they're going to lose credibility with you. You're a part of the party who thinks that African-American history lacks educational value. <laughs> you as a white man sitting here saying that when people bring race into conversations, lose credibility, just show that you lack awareness of what other people of different races have to go through in this country. We understand. We get it. But I love that you're now playing the victim. After the tragic death and murder of Tyree Nichols. The I gang gang here. After I watched this taping of The View, I knew this was going to happen. One thing that we do know and will know is people are going to take Whoopi's comments, flip it and reverse it, gaslight and play the victim. Because one thing we know is that certain demographics cannot stand black women. And second to that is black men. Let's talk about it. Whoopi Goldberg said, quote, how many times do we need to see? Do we need to see white people also get beat up before anybody would do anything? And every black person would understand exactly what she's saying. 
She's basically saying, do we need to see white people experience the same type of mistreatment and brutality in order for there to be something done? Y'all be the same type of people that are saying rest in heaven to Tyree Nichols. But if he was breathing the same air and space as you, you would treat him a certain type of way. And this is why I don't believe in allyship. Prevent more tragic cases like this one. It's not the Republican. You're right. It's not the Republican Party who Tyree Nichols. It was the officers. But if you watch that full video, and I, I really hope you that you do, you play a clip of a gentleman saying it was the Republican Party who stood in the way of passing legislation that would diminish the possibilities of this senseless killings. He never said Republicans killed anybody. He was stating fact that many times when senseless killings like this happen, Democrats want to pass something, to do something, to reform police, whatever legislation that they think that would help. It is the Republicans who stood in the way or stand in the way every single time that happens. Now, some of you will say, you can pass anything you want and it won't do anything. Okay, well, we haven't passed anything. So how do we know that it will work or won't work? A reparations type of program in the United States. Let me explain it for the ignorant people in the back. White people love the phrase, if the roles were reversed, but you never use it in the right context. If the roles were reversed, you'd want that money too. And just because you lack empathy does not mean that you are correct. Well, and let's get another thing through your head. Nobody wants your money. They want the government's money. The government paid Native Americans and the government paid Japanese Americans, even though we wouldn't even have the American dollar if it wasn't for black American slavery. Every time you touch an American dollar, just remember who picked that cotton. Remember that you get to keep your money and they didn't. They were denied loans. Their money was stolen from them. Their houses were burned down. They get to lose money every single day and you're complaining about the money that you get to keep regardless of the outcome. You know what? How about you go buy a journal with all that money you get to keep? Cry and cope and write. Vent your heart out. So you guys have seen those responses. Like his ignorance was addressed and I love all the responses. At some point, the bashing got too much that he had to come out and make this video. You guys, so I posted a video less than 24 hours ago that blew up, um, has almost, anyway, on some comments that Whoopi Goldberg made on The View, and I'm getting a lot of people calling me racist. It's so disheartening to me, the response, and there's a lot of people that are supporting me too so I don't want to misconstrue it but this rhetoric comments like this on that video where does that get anybody okay if you watch the video I was calling out racism that I saw on TV I sent my prayers and my thoughts and I hoped that Tyree Nichols is in heaven with God in paradise because he was violently killed at the hands of police. And I will defend that to anybody who doubts that. We can't solve our problems in this country by just resorting to race for everything. So when you say everything is about race when it comes to blacks, no, it's not. Okay? Martin Luther King Jr. even said, it's not about the color of your skin, it's about the content of your character. And I'm sorry, but that goes on both sides. It goes for both sides. And when you say you white folks won't understand, can I just say something? If I were to say to a black person, you black folks, the world would blow up. Number one, I would never say that. I uh, True equality doesn't mean putting one race above another, treating one race differently than another. If we want true equality, why are we even talking about race? Did you guys see that interview with Morgan Freeman, maybe a couple of years back, where he's like, the real way to end racism in the country is to stop talking about it. If no one's talking about it, then 
I'm at a loss for words, guys. And if you know me and if you follow me, you know I always have something to say. But one thing I won't stand for is being called a racist because I know in my heart I am not. It is literally what I try and make videos to fight. You guys, two days ago, I posted a video in response to Whoopi Goldberg's comments on The View, and I spoke my view. A lot of people supported my view. Many did not. And I want you to go back and watch what I said. And I want you to tell me truthfully if what I said is racist. Because that's a, that's a really big accusation. And this, guys, is one of the nicer comments. I received tens of thousands of comments. And let me tell you, a lot of them were a lot nastier than this. He's acting ignorant, like he's surprised. Like, I can't believe they're calling me a ray to the sis. Where did it come from? Oh, it was by no fault of your own, young man. <laughs> we can't solve our problems in this country by just resorting to race for everything. Now, to address what you said, people are calling you racist because what you said was and teeters on the line of stupidity. Also, the fact that you don't know that the, in the very founding of this country, during colonization, race was embedded into every single decision made in this country. Everything has always been about race in this country. The laws that were put in place during colonization are still being upheld in 2023 in a lot of ways. Now, just because you can't critically think about them doesn't mean it's not happening. But you know what I really think is happening with you? I think you're starting to realize that yes, everything is actually about race. No racism will not go away if you just stop talking about it. You're realizing that the story that you've been told your entire life where the white knight was the savior, but he was actually the villain is now giving you an awakening. You're realizing you've been lied to your entire life when it comes to the history of this country, which means you have to admit that you have finally been awakened. Welcome to being woke. I'm getting a lot of people calling me racist. You purposefully misinterpreted Whoopi Goldberg's words um, and you weren't subtle about it. It was quite clumsy and obvious. And the reason for that is because you were so excited about the possible opportunity to call a black woman racist in the most public place known to man that you didn't stop to consider how foolish you might look doing it. Whoopi Goldberg asked, do white people have to experience this at the hands of police officers before something's going to get done about it? And the reason she asked that question is because black people have been experiencing this violence from police officers for longer than you and I have been alive combined, and nobody's done anything about it. And you reacted purposefully as though she were making the demand that white people must experience this at the hands of police officers as well. Oh, look, you heard her. Whoopi Goldberg said she wants white people to be by cops. And that's not what happened. You did it so that you could villainize a black woman and push the false idea of race against white people which doesn't exist you are in fact as racist as the people in your comments are telling you you are you guys so i posted a video less than 24 hours ago that blew up and then you go on to try to use dr king as an all lives matter escape goat because you didn't want to be called off for what you said when you literally try to lie and say whoopi goldberg said that white people deserve to get when knowing damn well she didn't say that if you go back and look at the video and play closely attention you were here and see what she was saying but you didn't but let's go over dr king real quick since you since you use his quote let's not forget he said his i had a dream speech was a nightmare he said that he felt like he let black people down the wrong path into a burning building yeah that's what you don't want to talk about but what else did he say i'll wait yeah because you literally don't give a damn i mean look at history look what they did to emma Till and mary turner hmm you see all these little small towns today in society, they were predominantly black neighborhoods and today were um, taken over by white mobs. So no, you knew exactly what you were doing and you were called out for it. But yeah, you can try to play the victim all you want because you know you're not a victim. You knew exactly what you were doing. Good day. Whoopi Goldberg on The View said what she... There's no open border. You really are ridiculous. You should take this down. You're embarrassing yourself. So you as a white man can speak for brown people and what history they know to be being taught in the American public, private school curriculum system? Because it's Black History Month, the shortest month out of the year. 
the one month we should be being we should be being taught CRT at my daughter's school they get a little fact during morning announcements then that's that so where exactly is it being taught and what is being taught I'll tell you F nothing with a side dish of f nothing whitewashed and if you hate the view so much why do you keep watching it and giving them the view count see what I did there that was punny it was probably above your head though it's okay you need a lot of things explained to you. The second you use race as a basis of your argument, you lose all credibility. Shut up. We don't care. Your opinion isn't important. This is Black History Month. Leave us alone. Leave Whoopi alone. Go take a race studies class. It's clear that you need it. You guys are so dense. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, you guys, I love black TikTok. I love black TikTok. And also, kudos to all the allies, you know, the palm color people that spoke up on this, the non black people, because they need to hear it from people that look like them, not just us. I had a few days going through his page. And if he keeps it up, it's just a matter of time till enough people report him and his account gets banned from TikTok, because that happens a lot with people like that. See, sometimes I try not to get worked up by these ignorant things people say. I just have a laugh, because sometimes this ignorance is amusing. And again, they're already getting dragged, so I'm just here to enjoy the show. <laughs> you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. What are your opinions on what he said? What are your opinions on what people said in response to him as well? Please just drop them down below. And also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. Subscribe if you like my kind of content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.